Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the Mothership. I appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your positive feedback that you send me through email. I really do appreciate all of you, okay? We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. So, all right, this is for people that want to be single or are single. You have your equal, what's new on your coattails. Yeah, just change. It's success coming, okay? I'm hearing a success chasing you for whoever this resonates with. For some of you, there there could be a lot of synchronicities in music, okay? We still got that scapegoat energy. Some of you are earth angels. This is about prosperity, all right? Some of you are battling demons. Okay, so we have Archangel Krista, the higher consciousness, the light, in Christ's life. So somebody's having a, I heard a DNA activation. So it's a karmic alignment for you. You completed some sort of cycle for some of you. All right, some of you, you may have recently been single or you've been working on a project. I'm also getting nine months, so you could be pregnant. Yeah, we have Goddess Gaia. One to come out uh, uh, in reverse. So Mother Nature. So you could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or right now. Uh, some of you may be spending a lot of time outside, or you may be seen as a nurturer, a healer, okay? So, yeah, this is that energy of attracting spirit animals. Some of you could be dreaming about spirit animals. You may encounter a lot of animals when you go out in public. Yeah, it, it wants to keep coming out. So, yeah, this is about you having faith. For some of you, this is about mental health. Some of you could be in the uh, medical field, all right? Some of you need to realize that you're not going insane or crazy because you may be having some, you know, telepathic gifts. I'm hearing that your sixth sense is ignited with the segment energy. Some of you could be Leos, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You could just be um, having that magnetic energy of fierceness, okay, attracting what you want. Some of you have... Um, Connection to ancient Egypt. Others of you, you may be dealing with uh, some sort of sorcery or sorceress. Yeah. You know, Baba Yaga, what's new? And her counterpart. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But, uh, you know, Archangel Gabriel's on that ass. There's some sort of judgment happening surrounding this matter. So let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How y'all doing? You can show me what it is I need to see. This is that energy of a lot of watching, watching, watching. Some of you could be getting some sort of evaluation. Some Somebody's in that deep thought of evaluating you. I feel like you trigger someone's awakening. Okay. Some of you are connecting with the saints. You could be a saint, okay? Um, ascended masters. This is a balancing energy here. It's also talking about nine. Nine is really significant surrounding this reading. So, yeah, whatever is done in the dark shall come to the light. Okay, about this belief system. I heard toxic masculinity. I haven't heard that in a while. So this is a third party, could be a couple working against you. Someone could have contracted a third party to come between you and a emperor. But I do feel like a cycle is complete. All right. Somebody lost their spiritual protection here. I feel like you were dealing with an emperor that may have been. Oh, yeah. This is somebody that you possibly blocked. OK, so for some of you, it's your divine masculine. I feel like when you disconnected your energy, they did feel it. OK, so we have the moon and the sun. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> some of you things just couldn't connect. Right. You were going one way. They were going another. I feel like this, there will be balance being restored. Things are happening in the shadow. OK, somebody was in their shadow self. We got Saturn here. 
All right. So this is about some sort of truth. This is a karmic alignment. Some of you, you've been in this process for years. I'm hearing 10, 12. And that's significant also with the music that I channel. OK, some of you, the, those songs may resonate personally. And I always notice the years. OK, um, with these older songs that I channel. OK, so this is about an empress and her coming into her destiny. Tell me more. This has been a little bit refreshing. Some of you may have been dealing with mental illness in your family. Okay, so yeah, you are a healer or someone wants to heal something. Okay, I feel like you were healing in secret. Okay, taming the beast with this uh, segment energy. Some of you had a lot of battles. I'm also hearing demonic and demon possessions and stuff like that. What the hell? We know we got Saturn here. All right, so something's coming to the light. Yeah, tower moment. Look at this. So somebody was, uh, what they call that? Stubborn. Somebody was stubborn here. I feel like whatever information that was shared to you that you gave to someone, it caused some sort of healing to take place and, it, and, and insti instantly revealed something. Somebody could accuse you of being insane or crazy or something. This person would do moon magic, okay, to mess with someone's chakras, to mess with their health. I'm getting that you are protected. Why is Saturn here? Yeah, so this is a partnership. So it could have been a male or a female trying to cause some sort of transformation in your life. I do feel like something ended in their life, okay? Some of you may be having a high priest and warlocks and shamans contact you out of nowhere somebody's taking a leap of faith be mindful of that okay do not send anybody any pictures is what i'm being told so somebody's deep in their thoughts about a new beginning now i do feel like somebody took a leap of faith and for some of you this person possibly uh took a leap of faith to their demise okay this somebody's definitely uh transition now this could be a rebirth okay this could be, definitely be a rebirth. Yeah, somebody's high priestess um, DNA encoding is what I'm being told was activated. There was some sort of transformation that they were trying to slow down. This was something that was being done in secret. Okay, this is about somebody's gifts here. You completed a cycle. Whoever this high priest uh, shaman Sangoma is, they, poss they possibly will try to contact you. Do not give away your pictures, okay? Somebody lost their spiritual protection from working with a third party. This person could be also trying to astral travel to you, okay? This person could have also lied and slandered you because we have the emperor here also, okay? So, yeah, somebody's trying to, somebody did a spell to mask themselves as your emperor. This is somebody that you got a soul contract with, okay? Some of you may not have used your intuition about the, this person in the past, yeah, here they here here he is. This is a karmic masculine. For some of you, you you possibly don't even know this person. So they're gonna try to come in and act like they are your person. This is somebody that's been watching collective readings, okay? So they think they could outsmart you. <clears throat> yeah, this person is sending conflict or in conflict with your divine masculine. They're also in conflict with you. They don't like the fact that you are in the spotlight here. This person is very angry. You triggered this person. So this person made an empty investment. This person lied on you and the scales were balanced immediately. Okay, it could have something to do with a Capricorn or somebody on the cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn. Yeah, somebody met, I heard somebody met that maker. I'm going to check. Uh, um, I'm going to put that. Reading at the end. In a card for those that are interested or somewhere, if I remember, okay? So this is a soul contract or somebody was contracted, okay? I'm hearing all things done in the dark shall come to the light. I've been channeling um, church songs. People need to know that I channel energy. So at any point you ever feel uncomfortable, you know, you may need to disconnect from me, go connect with another reader, you know, or, you know, maybe it's just time, you know, for us to come to an end. Somebody definitely is working with energy and it got sent right back. Those of you that have been here for a while, you know this car, you know what it means, okay? Somebody didn't use their intuition about this moon magic. This person was full of shit. They tried to mask themselves. I'm telling you, you triggered this person. You thought you were cute. You thought you were cute. Crazy sex is the best sex liabilities. 
Somebody tried to put a spell on somebody during the full moon. Like this person watches, this is how ignorant and foolish this person is. They watch uh, readings and they purposely do the opposite of the reading. <laughs> Why is the sun card here? I'm hearing that they're not a believer. Okay, go with. Okay, yeah. So, see, so yeah, somebody didn't go with their gut, possibly about someone that's gay for pay. Oh, well, it says gay for pay in reverse. Somebody could have, yeah, somebody didn't go with their gut about somebody that they were sleeping with. Okay, whether they are from the LGBTQ community or not. Okay. So this could be somebody that operates heavy duty machinery. This person can live in uh, like a mobile home or they may do a lot of traveling. They may also do a lot of tricking when they're traveling. Why is the sun car here? Yeah, so much stronger than you think. So this person sent out negative energy and it, it went back. I heard Machine Gun Kelly mouth. <laughs> okay, so yeah, whoever Machine Gun Kelly mouth is. They always in their thoughts, right, about you and how they could manifest some sort of downfall, okay? Some of you are professional drivers. I don't know why I heard NASCAR, but, yeah, some of you are this person is. They have some sort, somebody could have lost their driver's license or their endorsement. Why is Class A here? Yeah, Dementors. So, yeah, this is somebody... <laughs> I gets high off your love, don't know how to behave. <laughs> Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. So this could be somebody's uh, baby mama that is a Dementor. I live for Dementors or they live for Dementors. Yeah, this person is aware that this person cheats. And for some of you, they even give diseases. This person could have a drug addiction. They could have lost their license due to abusing drugs. Yeah, somebody could have, ooh, I heard somebody got tested. A bus driver could get could have got pulled in or a truck driver could have got pulled in and had to pee test and didn't pass a pee test and lost their endorsement. Tell me more about brown sugar. Mm, child. So this is, ooh, yeah, so, yeah, for some of you, this is somebody that had multiple families. They, they were traveling. Okay, they could have had a child with a stripper. This person deals with big machinery. For some of you, this they could that'd be like a forklift driver or boat or train or something like that, or heavy on four-wheeler, okay? So, yeah, this person, when they know that if you got that in your head because you've been you mentally conflicted, some of you have been praying and asking God, is this my reading? Is this the truth? Yes, for some of you, it is, okay? It could be somebody's moon sign. Look, we got Saturn. We got Leo. We got the moon represents Cancer and Pisces. We got strong Sagittarius in this reading. We got Scorpio and we got Aquarius. Strong Scorpio. Why is fire sign period this could resonate with anybody okay because this is talking about somebody that's creeping and sneaking and freaking while you're sleeping they was told to disconnect for this person okay but they have some sort of sexual addiction here yeah they they're codependent here those opportunities were tests so they felt like i don't know this person did a lot of traveling and a lot of freaking and sneaking OK, it says pay attention to what's taking place around you. 11, 11, 4, 4, 4. Someone's thinking of you. 7, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5, 10, 10. OK, so this is your energy. You over here just manifesting. The sun is shining bright on your ass. That's all I got to say. And you just like, I don't want no codependent relationships. For some of you, you know, this person is gay or this may even be for some a child for some of you. Yeah, some of you could be questioning how your child gets money here. Why is Saturn here? Yeah, for some, I'm hearing OnlyFans. For some of you, somebody's child got an OnlyFans. They could do, like, get paid for, like, porn or something like that. So somebody's very manipulative. It could be a Capricorn. Somebody's deep in their thoughts. 
about hiding or yeah hiding some sort of affair this could be a same sex affair this person is married why is excuse here somebody could drive a bike or a harley yeah look fantasy so they you know about their fantasy and this person is deep in their hair for some of you it's just a fantasy for some of you this person likes straps on strap on that reading they like the real thing or something resonates with some of y'all so this is something that was in the dark, okay? So this person may have gotten a reading. Somebody's wife or counterpart, possibly both, got a reading here because their crown chakra was blocked. They could have, yeah, their crown chakra was blocked due to, child, I'm just, yeah. They could have tried to block your crown chakra or lie. I watch you and report back. Yeah, so somebody's child may have told their mother that their father was gay or vice versa, sapiosexual. This person is in denial. This is, this person is mentally manipulative. For some of you, I heard sleeping with your best friend or something. I don't know if y'all got somebody that is a part of the LGBTQ community that sleeping with your dude or your girl. It says never get, forget how you struggle. So yeah, this person is deep in their thoughts about how they watched their child's mother struggle. Okay, this is also a warning for you to not take this person back. Some of you, this could be adult children of theirs or yours that may be reporting back nieces and aunt nieces, yeah, nieces and aunties. Oh, temperance. Why is temperance here? So yeah, this is feminine. You are feminine energy. So you were you are somebody that's self-made. You are created out of chaos. People didn't know that you were balanced here, that you were a healer, that you were very passionate. You could have Sagittarius in your chart, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Somebody sees you as very passionate and magnetic and attractive. Okay. It's, people didn't know that you had tamed the beast here. You see that cobra on the top of that head? Okay, so yeah, some of you, you have this, uh, this, this yaya, uh, somebody, this witch or something that's on your coattails. Like this person is fascinated with your energy because they didn't try to cause multiple tower moments in your life, and it's not happening. It's actually happening to them. With you will make it. You will make it right. Some of you had to let go of a masculine or a masculine has to let go of this witch that they're dealing with. And no offense against witches. We got good. We got bad. I feel, yeah, because this person is scorned. Okay. This person is constantly watching you, side-eyeing you, side-eyeing, side-eyeing anyone that they're jealous of. Okay. They always disapproving of something that you're doing, whether if you are, yeah, especially if you're a content creator. This person is scorned. It's all about masculine energy. They want control here. They want to be dependent on a man or they like to control men. They get a kick out of zombifying men or something. What is scorn? Yeah. So what did I tell you? Somebody had a strange encounter. Somebody had a strange encounter after they posted something that they did some sort of spell. This person could have did a spell, posted a picture to worship a deity, and soon after, they had some sort of strange encounter. This person could have tried to do some sort of heart attack spell on you. <laughs> Hallucination. <laughs> For some of you, this is messed up. For some of you, this person has children, and every time they do the spell work, their their child literally hallucinates, or they see the ghost that's in the house or something like that. Ooh, look at my the whole debt. Look, look at that. <sighs> debt to assets, high risk of investment, the equity, subtracting liabilities from the value of the assets, accounts payable, liabilities, obligation. Child. Yeah, somebody, somebody tried to make somebody sick, or yeah, lower their immune system, or something. Yeah. This, this could be somebody that they went back to and they had a lot of karmic debt attached to them. As they continued to sleep with this person, they could have got this person pregnant. This person had a lot of karmic debt because they they sleep around for money and they attract a lot of low vibrational people. 
They could also do drugs, you know, brown sugar, hair rind, don't necessarily have to be. I see, I, I, I say to you, you know, you need to um, seek some drug counseling or something like that. What is a strange en- encounter? Yeah, they was up there doing underhanded tests. I'm telling you, and the child was watching, okay? This could be a masculine high priest and his thug wife, his demon wife, okay? This idea here, demonic. <laughs> Look, strange encounters. Look, somebody's trying to ask to travel to you. Dream, meeting in 5D, okay? This person wants to connect with you. A dream is a wish your heart makes. They want to connect with you. This person may have been praying to to uh, to get you to come back. I mean, they, this person didn't did everything. They didn't did masturbation. They didn't did praying. They didn't did incantations. They didn't did candle spells. This person was doing a lot of researching here. I feel like they have a child's mother that's very promiscuous. They know this. And they still stay. I believe they stay because this person gave them a disease. What is this tower? And this is somebody, divine counterpart. Yeah, this is somebody that you know has a lot of baggage. Tower. It says, in training, consumes poisons, potions, superhuman and loyal so yeah this is somebody that didn't know that they had extra sensory abilities this is somebody that's psychic and didn't know it okay i'm here and they suppress their gifts okay they chose a toxic lifestyle here and now they have a lot of debt okay so it says protection wisdom beauty growth and royalty so yeah you definitely dropped a lot of dead weight because this person was was codependent this person could have tried to poison you or this person poisoned them, put something in their drink. Somebody could be 50. So, well, yeah, someone's coming in or already has a new car. Today is full of possibilities. So for some of you, this tower could be happening in your life or your person's life the day that you view this. All my readings are timeless. Make sure to check out your individual readings. That are posted there for three months. I did it last month. Okay. Spiritual growth. Yeah. So there was a time. <laughs> final destination. So all that stuff they did. They had a sequence in a sequence of events. I'm telling you. <clears throat> this person didn't pay attention. Okay. There was all type of unexplainable events. All kind of strange encounters that they were having. With possibly prostitutes. Okay. This person lacked self-awareness. They weren't paying attention. Okay, they had like a mischievous entity on them, like a lust demon. This person operated off of su- su- seduction here. Somebody could be suicidal. Please seek mental health. Yeah, I feel like the tower moment was when you rejected someone. You possibly rejected someone that tried to connect with you recently in the spiritual realm. This person feels their energy depleting. It says 10 cups reverse. Yeah, look at this. And the empress, the emperor reversed. So yeah, there was a tower moment. Somebody's in depression. This emperor reversed. This person was power hungry. This could be a narcissist. Okay, for some of you, this is somebody's father. It could be a child's father, your father. This person could, somebody could be burying their father or something like that. Because of their reckless actions, this person lacks self-awareness. Look, family, fake friend. That's fake family, fake friend that talk behind your back. The snake, the ops. For some of you, this is like an uncle or something that could could uh, pass away. It says enlightenment and letting go, self-love and spring and rebirth. So this definitely could be an Aries or somebody on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. <sighs> yeah. So this person only operated off of money. This could also be like a, a, a emperor that's an escort or a gigolo or something. What's going on with this emperor? Yeah, somebody's, yeah. Yeah. 
So something, this could have also been the ending of a relationship. Somebody could have walked away. This emperor could also be an absent father. Okay, he could be suicidal or something. His home could have gotten taken. Yeah, producing tension or hostility between two because this person was setting back um, sleeping with multiple people. They had a lot of baggage. They could also lie on you and said you were a prostitute. Why is fake family and friends that talk behind your back here? So this person, I've seen that two of swords, yeah. The veil is lifted on that bullshit, okay? So it says the impossible is often the untried. Embrace the journey. So you learned how to embrace the journey. You learned how to clear your energy. Some of you need to take spiritual baths, spiritual showers, whatever it is you do daily. You knew to disconnect from this person, okay? This person had a whole bunch of baggage. Like, this person could even, like, astral travel to, like, a group of people or something like, or they... They could teach astral travel, or somebody has like like some wicked. Uh, they they use their powers in in a wicked way. So this is like yeah, you you rejected this person in the five D. Okay, this is what family looks like. Yeah, so this person is trying to project some polygamous or polyamorous lifestyle, and you rejected this person to cause them to have a tower moment. Somebody could actually get into a car accident. Yeah, because whatever plans that they are planning is whatever they're doing. If they try to come towards you, it'll be a fated event. It'll be karma because you are protected with the day of affliction here. Not all who wonder are lost. Embrace the embrace the chaos. Yeah, so somebody could have gotten trapped in another portal, trying to astral travel to your dream, you astral travel to you. Yeah, men in black reset. Mm -hmm. Lack of energy. <laughs> yeah, this person was stubborn. Like, they, this is cold-hearted, cold-blooded. This is somebody that don't take care of their children. They spend their money on prostitutes. Why is the MIB here? Yeah, this is what family looks like. So this person may post a lot of pictures about family to purposely, like, exclude your child, okay? Or the baby mama do it, and baby mama's wife don't know that you not getting, are you not seeing none of this shit? Like, these people is just, ugh. Yeah, it's not adding up. <laughs> not what you expected. Spiritually worthy. Yeah. So this person lied on you. They could have said that you were demonic or possessed or something like that. But they were the person that wasn't spiritually worthy. But are they baby mama is or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, self-destruction. Somebody could have an eating disorder. They do some self-harm. If it's not physical self-harm, is is their destructive patterns, their cycles in life. This person is full of shame and guilt and this Harley Quinn energy. This person likes to play a passive role, but they definitely will hurt you or hurt someone. Something like that. Oh, child, this is crazy. Why is Harley Quinn here? Yeah, this is somebody that you... <laughs> They dealing with a black widow. They got a baby with a black widow. Or are they a black widow? You spoke some sort, of, some sort of truth. You told this person to get the fuck on. Okay. Uh, two times two. What is not adding up? Two times two. Mm -hmm. It's not adding up. So the money ain't adding up. Okay. They want to know where the money at. Somebody somebody wants to, to get paid double or something to keep doing this love spell. To keep somebody hooked and trapped. <laughs> Somebody needs to examine the facts. See beyond the naked eye. Yes. See beyond that naked body, baby. Because this person is plotting. They ain't nothing but a setup artist. Okay. I don't know why I heard Daphne. Ten cups reverse. Ten of cups reverse. Ciao. For some of you, this is definitely a masculine. This is somebody. They could have had a whole ass damn family somewhere. Why is the ten of cups reverse? <laughs> yeah, they are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like, mm -mm, you know not to fuck with that ass. That ass is tainted. Anyway, why is the food car here? It's tainted, baby. It's tainted. They ain't nothing but full of chaos and conflict. Okay, so somebody could have tried to send you chaos and conflict, but they need your energy. They need you to, to interact with them. Okay? <laughs> the gift of the gap. Ten toes down. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. 
Mm-hmm. Think before you speak. So somebody took a leap of faith and you clearly dismissed that ass. You shut that ass down. Some of you didn't even respond because you already knew this person was with the bullshit, doing them satanic rituals and shit, okay, trying to take a leap of faith after they done did hum did it lie on your ass for about 24 hours. And, oh, I done weaken, I done weaken their defense. Now I can come in. No, bitch, no. What's done in the dark shall come to the light. Somebody was ready to betray you or put you on an altar, cause some sort of death here. Look, Shadow, this is what was happening in the background. Possibly why somebody was talking to you that was doing some sort of ritual in the background trying to cause an ending. Ooh, child. Yeah, don't talk to this person. For some of you, it's your child's mother or a family member or a family member of theirs. For some of you, this is the, the person you told to leave. For some of you, this this person may be somebody you thought was your twin, I'm hearing. This person was very judgmental. Yeah, they got the Brady Bunch. They got the, man the Manelan. I'm mad as fuck. <laughs> they got the Melanin Bunch, okay? This person didn't realize that you were spiritually advanced with spiritual growth. Enlightenment 333. This person was not grateful of you or anything that they had in their life. This was this this was a taker, 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 taker. They were very greedy. That they had the energy of greed and lust on them. Okay, hear me. Holla if you hear me. Now this person is full of fear and anxiety. They thought they was gonna hook you. They wanted to make you a part of some sort of covenant. The covenant is breaking up here because there's no spiritual development here. It lacks energy. There's somebody growing food. Their crops is dying because of all the shit that they didn't did. Yeah. Like some, I'm seeing somebody's crops die. That could be metaphorically for some of you, whatever they invest in, it ends, it dies. Okay. Short lived investment. Okay. These people, this group is constantly trying to do this ritual and it's causing death and destruction in their own family. They wanted to see you struggle. This could be your, your family for some of you. Yeah, they put you in a setup. Somebody set somebody up with somebody that was unstable, codependent, and jealous. Like a handler energy. A handler. Somebody's in a relationship that's, they dealing with their handler. Struggle of <laughs> high life. Look, all these cars upside down. Mm. It's a run and drinks a drink song. She gonna run away when it get hard. Uh huh. Yeah, this person likes risk. They're very impulsive, but all that came to light. Somebody didn't know that you had the protection of your ancestors, the elders. Okay, the spiritual realm here. You have and use your sixth sense. Okay. Some of you, you just think it into existence. You don't have to uh, do nothing. So the divine is giving you a falcon's eye view of this struggle love situation. Somebody's constantly trying to tie themselves to a dead end situation. Here we go to, with the smelly fish girl. Smelly fish girl got two dudes I'm hearing now. All right. This person, are they dealing with somebody that could have cut their hair or they cut this person's hair in their sleep or something like that? So much left unsaid, checked out, secluded. Yeah, this person is in depression now because they didn't follow their intuition. Mm -hmm. This place is the prison of the angels and here they will be in prison forever. The cursed valley. So this is um, confirmation that, yeah, somebody put a love spell on some on someone and they damned themselves. I'm hearing the queen of the damned. Pluto. Mm -hmm. Take only what you need. So, yeah, this person has a lot of baggage. They, this, they could be doing a lot of traveling or they have to travel. They could be on the run here. Look. <laughs> yeah, somebody thought they dodged a bullet because they they tried to end something. They could also travel across the world to do some sort of spell to to try to bind someone's intellect here to make somebody like it's that energy of uh um I don't know why I heard Lou Gehrig's disease, but Alzheimer's. Somebody in their family could be experiencing Alzheimer's because this person, this practitioner, whoever it is, male or female, um, for some of you, I heard their children are going to experience some sort of mental disorder because it's some for all the things that they did, like 
somebody don't pay attention to their children or something, or somebody's child may have a mental disorder and they don't realize that their child is watching them or something. They could also be reporting something at school with a false face. It says, be yourself, be unique, be true, be honest, be humble, be happy. So, yeah, this is something that this person is hiding, that they have a lot of baggage, that they have a lot of people, they have entity attachments. For some of you, they're hiding the fact that they did spells on you. They could be even hiding the fact that you have a child with them. All right. I'm being told to end it there. It's, yeah. Radiate positivity. So it says, you know, this person is in a depressive uh, state. Okay. And I'm hearing that that's this person's karma. They're all in their head about everything that has happened. This person didn't use their intuition here. They kept a lot of secrets from you or they kept you a secret. Okay. They could have been doing this secretly trying to cause some ending in your life. You know, if this resonates with you, I hear the sirens. I'll tell you later.